everyone, and welcome to KPEX Curtain Call Conversations. My name is Denise McPhail. I serve the Prince William County community as the co-founder and executive director of KPEX. KPEX is an acronym for the Creative and Performing Arts Center. I'm standing here at the beautiful Hilton Performing Arts Center, located on George Mason University's campus in Manassas, Virginia, where KPAC is a founding resident arts partner and Arts Alliance member. Did you know that KPAC was established in 2002 and incorporated in 2004? KPAC exists to bridge art opportunity gaps for underrepresented communities and enhances education, life skills, and community harmony through the arts. Since 2002, KPAC has been transforming diverse lives through acting, singing, dancing, and creative writing workshops for children, teens, and adults. KPAC is a community theater that cares for the community. KPAC pairs each theatrical production with an outreach activity. KPAC illuminates African American life and culture to validate our shared humanity. Oh, that was my daddy. Smart, strong, and determined. I guess that's where I get it from. <laughs> Since July 2003, KPAC has been a member of the Prince William Arts Council. We learned about the Hilton Performing Arts Center through the Arts Council. KPAC was fortunate to participate in the groundbreaking ceremony. We had the pleasure of taking 20 people on a hard hat tour. And during the grand opening ceremony, KPAC performed the play, Remembering Angels in Birmingham. This play was written by Prince William native and current SAG member, Mr. Albert Williams. Oh, we are so excited about KPAC's future. We've learned through the pandemic that virtual programming can be effective. Therefore, we're planning on launching virtual programming such as audition tips and acting classes for starters. Additionally, our goal is to bring in science, technology, engineering, art, and math disciplines to develop a STEAM summer camp here at the Hilton Performing Arts Center. Why should people support the arts? Because the arts have the ability to bring people together from various cultural backgrounds. According to Americans for the Arts, the arts help students to succeed in school, work, and life. Some students are motivated to attend school because they know that at the end of the day, they'll have practice for the upcoming theatrical production. Did you know that students who are involved in the arts are four times more likely to participate in a math and science fair? Businesses look for creative employees. It's the number one skill they seek. Low-income students who are highly engaged in the arts are more than twice as likely to graduate from college versus their peers who are not. Okay, enough about KPAC for now and why you should support the art. Let's go inside. We'll visit the Gregory Family Theater where you'll see the Baobab tree, an African symbol and also known as the Tree of Life. You'll hear from KPAC board members, directors, and actors about how KPAC has impacted their lives. Although it's community theater, it's professional. It just makes me who I am. Theater makes me who I am. That 
almost missed my opportunity by showing up at the end of the audition period. I would say, like everybody said, it was a blessing. So I went for it, and that just opened up the artistic portal. You don't have to go to New York to see a fantastic play. That's what I'm saying, in essence. KPEC is not just an organization for the underserved or for the missing voice. KPEC is here for everyone who wants to have a voice. For me as a director who wants to be able to utilize my talents, and they will give me the platform to do so. So KPEC is a pillar of the community. It added something to my life. It was something I was missing. KPEC is where you want to be. So when you write that check. <laughs> <laughs> Let the church say amen. Yes! My name is Sari Grimes, and I've played Lorraine Hansberry and Zella Brown in Courageous Four. My name is Bray Stevens Mitchell, and I was cast in The Peter and the Wolf, the reciting of Langston Hughes' poems, and remembering the angels in Birmingham. My name is Albert Williams. I directed a various plays for KPAC. I've been in the arts for about 54 years. One of the first movies I worked on was a movie called Cotton Comes to Harlem with Red Fox. Then I got tied up in the soap operas. Got in life for 17 years. All my children, three or four years on One Life to Live. I got worked on Law and Order. I can go on and on and on, so I'm not gonna go into depth. I've been in, I've appeared in over 100 movies, let's put it that way. My name is Bobby Lacey II. I MD with uh, K Pack for Amazing Grace, Black Nativity, and we were this close to doing Annie. And, uh, you know, God had another plan, so it's all right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jawan Hill, and I have been in Amazing Grace, Dancing in the Wings twice, <laughs> The Wiz. Two Black Nativity productions, Locomotion, and Stage Managed, A Raisin in the Sun production. I'm Leslie Barnett. I participated in my first ever production with K-Pack, and that was Shaking the Mess Out of Misery. And that was my first theater experience. My That just kind of led to um, what I do now, which is acting and I could not have even begun this journey without stepping foot into that room and auditioning for taking the mess out of misery. And I was terrified, but, um, you know, with the direction of God, he, he said, it's time, do it. So I did it and I'm happy that I did. And um, thank you, KPAC. Yes, I am a master poetess. And I am a teaching artist. So yeah, this is what I do. I come in and I utilize my uh, my mastery, my art, and I teach people. Yeah, so I'm a director, I'm a poet, I'm a public speaker. I'm in many languages. <laughs> I'm an educator. <laughs> yes. My name is Crystal Marche Henry Arful Ido. I was in Amen Corner. That was my first production. And then after that, I directed Angels in Birmingham, right here, the opening of the Hilton. And I directed Shaking the Mess Out of Misery for colored girls who consider suicide when the rainbow is enough and Black Nativity 2018. You got to put a year on Black Nativity since. See, there's so many Black Nativities, so my Black Nativity is 2018. <laughs> Crystal AA asked me if I would consider being the uh, director, music director, and it was a wonderful yes. experience because I didn't know of any other arts and theater that were here, but especially with our uh, African Americans. And I said, it's really good that we have something like that because people don't know about it and we do know, need more people. And since I'm a music teacher, the arts are really dear to my heart. I've been in acting, theater, music pretty much all my life, but coming to this area, I wasn't aware of a black organization until I bumped into KPAC. And once I got in, I mean, it kind of took off from there because that art is your self-expression. Art is you. And then there's nothing else like it. 
Miss Denise was just somebody who encouraged me to incorporate the world into music when you write it, to know what you're writing about, to actually put a feeling to the art. And that one moment changed my life. I was already at school for music, but a lot of times they tell you what to do. They tell you how to perform, they tell you how to feel. But for the first time, I had someone else tell me to put my own emotions to what was going on. And um, I mean, just, just a life-changing experience. And you know, we've been connected ever since. Oh man, I could talk about the arts all day. It's so amazing that art is something that is so personal for a lot of creators who are um, sharing their art with the world. So being able to connect on a personal level as an audience member or as a performer is something that I don't think that you can get anywhere else. That's what makes art so real is the people behind the art, really. Because the people behind the art make it come alive. So that's why I love theater and not just theater, just every aspect of art. Through art, that's how everyone expresses themselves. And art is literally just a reflection of how people feel on the inside, whether it be through song, poetry, film, whatever it may be, that is a form of expression. Arts are everything. We're able to connect with each other and we are lost without art. And I think it's just important that we keep art alive and that we um, encourage art within our youth especially. They need an outlet. I mean, everyone needs an outlet, but I think our youth really needs an outlet. You know, any sorrow or if, there, if there's any frustrations or anything like that, they need that safe space to just let it go and release it. I'm normally a shy and quiet person, but on stage, I change into a different persona. I can be as loud as I want. I can freely express myself. And I think that KPAC has definitely helped me with that. The arts are so important, not just as a young person, but as a as a senior. It is it is is another way of letting out. I mean, I've done the career thing. I've done the you know the the mommy, and I'm doing the grandmommy thing now. But you still need something to in, to allow you to express yourself. The the best part about acting is that it's humane. It, it imitates life. It's reality. It's what you go through every day and what people go through every day. And without it, you wouldn't be able to see a reflection of what your life is. I would say my favorite KPAC production was one of the ones that I was in, which is Courageous Four. It was actually a really great opportunity to learn about Prince William County and learn about four black women who worked in the county. Arts are very important, especially with people of color, because our history has been so distorted, very distorted. You know? When I was growing up in this area, there was nothing like what we have today, you know, K-Pack, you know. We had the teens reciting Langston Hughes's life, and then in between his life story, we weaved in the poems that he did within that stage of his life. And the thing that was so fascinating to me is that the children who participated in that piece, they not only knew their Langston Hughes poem, but they knew the teens, they knew adult poems, and that is what is so important. You know, it, it gives the children confidence. The plays that KPAC puts on, they have a message. Keep on keeping on. It was upon the third day of September, 1838 that I started upon my little life work in the world. It was a great day for me, with slavery behind me and all the great untried world before me. My heart throbbed with many anxious thoughts as to what the future might hold in store for me. I told them that sure it wasn't going to be easy, but that we would be blessed in our efforts, and that is prayer hard work and dedication, we would have our own church. k has literally been the stepping stone to something greater and honestly been the inspiration for wanting to start my own production company. I want to be able to help young people get to a place where they know it's okay to be an artist. 
You don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be a lawyer. It's 100% okay being an artist. KPAC has impacted all areas of my life from getting such a rich history, specifically in black history from a young age through learning about Langston Hughes and, and plenty other uh, black creatives to also uh, personal development through I've become a much better public speaker. I am not as nervous as I once was when it came to talking in front of people. Um, I learned a lot about dedication and, and perfecting your craft and doing what is necessary to put your best foot forward always. It's something that works for KPAC. And I think of Langston Hughes. I think how pleased he would be that his play is still being honored within our community. And I, I just think that there's so much value in doing his work. And the simple fact that minorities in the arts is underserved. So not only does KPAC fill that void, now you're giving us a larger megaphone to speak and we need this. So I appreciate KPEG filling the void because I'm in this community and I don't see myself. KPAC is important because I was kind of on a search to find a home that I could be creative and safe with. And I found that with KPAC. I know Leslie, we have met um, on different sets, whether it's commercial or movies. Um, we both became professional actors and to know KPAC was a start for both of us um, and a background for both of us. We were able to support each other and continue that family beyond uh, the stage when we meet other folks from KPAC. So, hey, Leslie. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Well, you know, KPAC being community theater believes in opportunities. You know, you, you work with people, you, you hold their hands, you do whatever you need to do, and then you discover this person really has a gift. And if it was a professional theater, you would have never discovered that because you don't have time, you know, to do all of that. Each play I worked in was very different because Black Nativity was adults doing a play, right? And you know, you come in and you have this phenomenal music and the director was incorporating sounds from like the pentatonics into like these deep gospel songs that, you know, that are natural with black nativity. And from there, it's like, you know, it's almost a perfectionist thing. You know, once you get up there, it was like top notch production. I mean, and, I've, and now that I've worked in productions pretty much my whole life now, it made me realize like, you know, K-Pac don't play around. Like, there, you know, there's, there's not gonna be a, there's not gonna be a, a piece out of place, a dancer, a singer. You're gonna walk to this part, the music starts here. This is what you're supposed to sing. These are the harmony parts, like no joke whatsoever. Um, Amazing Grace was a totally different experience because you're talking about kids and and they're just excited. And you know, kids don't need any prompt. They'll just start doing stuff. And so the kids are just excited and you have to show the kids like, yes, this is fun. Yes, I want you to love the arts. Yes, I want you to, to enjoy everything that's happening. But we have a schedule, you know, but we have a mission, but there's something I need for you to do in this moment. And it was teaching the kids almost like the basic skills of working together and following directions and going towards a common goal. And, you know, I was just kind of sitting there looping the songs over and over again while they got together. And then next thing you know, like, boom. Every production to me was exceptional. All of the black nativities, the um, shaking the mess out of misery and just, I can just go on and on. It's just, I have not seen a K-Pack production that I did not enjoy. Oh, ooh, 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 that's not fair. Now that's like asking your mama her favorite child. Now you know what the answer is, right? Oh, they're all my favorites. Remembering the Angels in Birmingham was definitely my favorite. Knowing how special and important that production was because of what we were honoring and what it was representing. And also being a part of not only the groundbreaking ceremony, but the first performance was very full circle for me. So it made it extremely special. My favorite one that I loved directing was the Delaney Sisters. And the reason is simply because it's about two women of color who lived to be over 100 years old, never married. And they were professional women. And this play, the Delaney Sisters, the actor speaks to the, the audience. It tells a story. 
and, and, and that's my favorite, my favorite play that I ever directed. Oh, it's hard for me to pick one and I can't. I love them all, I love them all, I love them all. You know, they all have their own different personalities and, you know, different cast and, of course, all the personalities in the cast, you know, make each production unique and special to you. Well, I think um, in, a, in a capsulized statement that we met during a play as she played my wife. Wow. And <laughs> reality show. I was, I was, I, I was Walter Lee in Brazen. The sun. She walked in as an extra, and Mr. William walked in during rehearsal and mm. said, Walter Lee, because I was in Walter Lee mode, mm -hmm. and he said, This is your new wife. Wow. So I just, wow. this, his exact words. And I just, I had my head down in the book, and I looked up, and I was already praying in hindsight over some things about what, the, what was coming next in my life. Wow. But yes, and he said, this is your new wife. And I just kind of looked around, I looked up and I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. I know some of y'all that were there remember that. Yeah. But, uh, that's how it all really started. And we ended up playing husband and wife during the play and everything. And we started. never got out of care. And we <laughs> never got out of care. <laughs> Oh, we see. We see you didn't. <laughs> yeah, so it just kind of ramps up from there. I'm just glad I had the opportunity to meet so many different actors along this journey. I learned something from every production. You know, every everyone has something to contribute and bring to the table and something that enriches me and helps me, you know, for the next time around. Um, so, yeah, I can't pick a favorite. You know, I love all my children. <laughs> And I look at the young people, and it brings back memories of old songs. And I see these young people, and I think of a song called Young, Gifted, and Black. A big portion of my process and my growth process has also been observing. Throughout the productions, I've gotten to see a lot of seasoned actors, directors, and just a lot of really tremendous artists, especially in The Wiz. I still, to this day, follow majority of the leading cast down to, you know, some of the people that were the mouse squad with me. <laughs> and each and every single one of the leads are doing something in the professional world. And that's a prime example of, of what K-Pack produces. So for me, it's like being able to observe other people, see how they move throughout the industry and how that affects them. And then being able to take what I see and what I like and use it whenever I need to. KPAC is not a one and done. KPAC reaches out. They're family. Once you come into the family, you are here. And not only that, let's stress the fact, which made me excited to be a part of this, they bring talented people in to pour into these individuals. So when you're coming to a KPAC production, when you're doing a KPAC class or auditing, you're getting the very best. And that's why we're here today, so that we can recognize that and give that a platform. Oh, my plan to be a professional actor, um, singer, director, producer, <laughs> and um, own my own production company. I just was accepted into the Juilliard School of Drama, so I plan to attend um, that school for the next four years, and um, following that, just begin my career in the industry. Hi, my name is Jackie West, and I'm the Vice President of the Board for KPAC. My vision for KPAC's future is to broaden KPAC's audience and reach through dynamic productions that create an awareness of the black cultural experience in America. These experiences will enhance the narrative through concerts, plays, workshops, master classes, and a STEAM camp. My name is Loretta Freeman. I am the president of the KPAC Board of Directors. I've just seen so many young children come into our auditions that have never 
experienced art before and some of them feel that they can't act or couldn't act and we have grown so much in that we are producing actresses and actors that go on and do exceptional things and that growth makes me know that what we're doing has tremendously and continues to tremendously affect the community and that just makes me feel like we are continuing to do great things. We're continuing to grow, we're continuing to learn, we're continuing to improve where we need to improve because we're not perfect. With each production we learn, we figure out what can we do better? How can we bring in new people? How can we bring in new audiences? And I feel that that's how we have continued to grow and we will continue to grow to be even better. Thank you for joining us under the Balboa tree this tree is an African symbol of power, presence, strength, and grace, all characteristics of KPAC. There are many ways that people can help KPAC. They can visit our website to find out a little bit more about who we are at www.kpacweb.org. You can also volunteer to participate in various committees that we have. You could become a sponsor for a production that we put on, or you can also become a member or just donate to KPAC. KPAC is necessary. KPAC is necessary. KPAC is necessary. Support KPAC. KPAC is necessary. KPAC is necessary. Support KPAC now.